what's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to What's in the Box. Quite a large package has arrived at my door this morning by a wonderful man from the DPS who texted me this morning and told me it was on the way. It was a little surprised to be honest because I actually didn't think this was sent out yet. But oh god I'm excited to get into it and get it open. These are kind of cool, weird corner protectors for this item. <laughs> so ladies and gents, here it is. The Art of Point and Click Adventure Games by Bitmap Books. And it has come in an absolutely massive, hard outer case to protect the book. Now it is actually a hardback book as well, so it doesn't really need the extra protection. But it is the special edition of this book which is now sold out. Sadly, you cannot get this version of it anymore. But if you do go out to their site, if this book looks like it's up your alley, this book is still on sale, definitely get your hands on it because it's absolutely class. So basically what this is, exactly what it says on the tin, it's loads of different art, like background art, character art, sprite art from point and click games. Of course it includes LucasArts and of course it includes Sierra Online. What's interesting about it is it has some new interviews with some developers of those games such as Ron Gilbert and the likes and I think Al Lowe might actually be in here as well from the Leisure Suit Larry games but wow that is some huge collector's item. The collector's edition is actually made to be to look like a big box PC game so I'm gonna get a big box PC game and we can compare the size of these two before I start getting into the opening of it. As you can see the point and click box is quite a lot larger than the actual point and click game big box but nevertheless it's got its sticker down here as well what does it say let's have a zoom in on that free ms dos three and a half inch floppy disk copy protected so the box contents it's got a book a code wheel i wasn't expecting a code wheel a book a code wheel a grog coaster magnetic words and a usb floppy disk. I think I'm going to, before I get into opening the big box, I'm going to put this down here. We're actually going to look through some of the extras that have come separately in the box. So I think I'm going to start with these magnetic words, which are verbs, I believe, from all the different point and click games. Oh, they're good quality as well. Let's have a smell of it. <sighs> Smells new. Yeah, so this is a real, like, so these magnets are really good quality for how thin they are. They're quite heavy and they've got a good glossy finish to them. So what do we have here? We've got the Art of Point and Click Adventure Games. We've got Rubber Chicken, Lock the Treasure, Pirate in the Laundry, Costume, Put, Examine, Bucket, Give, Save, Princess Use, uh, To, and We're on Empty Jar, Pick Up, uh, Look, cannonball, tree stump, a walk, push, move, voodoo, or climb ladder for fish flag, grog gun, <laughs> grog gun, magic key, wizard talk, gorilla, red herring, spell sponge, ID card, baseball bat, crowbar, wig, feather, scissors, a off, rat, piece of weight, hair up, disguise, with rope, mints, with rope mints. <laughs> Touch, pull, pin, book, glue, at, coffin, spit, hat, chalice. So for any people that are into point and click games, that was a little trip down nostalgia lane because all those things are just like typical items and typical verb uses there that you would usually see in point and click games. And of course that is the LucasArts hotspot line text as well, I believe. So they are very cool. I'm not gonna take them off right now, but that's awesome. That, that'd be very cool on your fridge. You could just play around with those and make really funny sentences. We're gonna take a quick look at this, which is a coaster. And wow, that's pretty cool. A, for those of you who haven't played Monkey Island, Grog is a drink that is in Monkey Island. I can't quite remember what's in it, but I know that there's like pepperoni, I'm sure there's like motor oil and stuff in Grog. 99% ABV, Tri Island Brewery, I really like that, and a tree-headed monkey down below. That's awesome, a Grog coaster, like, that's my first real kind of Monkey Island style 
collector's item outside the actual games. Really good design again. The guys at Bitmap Books really went all out for this special edition. So I think we've got some postcards here as well. Simon the Sorcerer straight away, two games which I've actually done already the unboxing on this channel. i just also like to state that this video isn't sponsored or anything by Bitmap Books, but uh, definitely check out their site. They've got some really cool books. If you're interested in books on video gaming, I certainly am. I do hope to continue getting more books like this because this is a real, very specific, and there's only a certain amount of people in the world that really, really would love this item, and I am one of those people. So we've got a Simon the Sorcerer postcard here, printed on a nice card actually, it's a matte finish card, and as you can see it's a scene from Simon the Sorcerer, let's see what our next scene is. Oh, we've got a famous scene from Day of the Tentacle, the gun lighter used to light up a cigar for Bernard in Day of the Tentacle. That's nice as well, another matte finish. Flight of the Amazon, I think this game is called. I haven't played this one yet myself, but it is one that is on my to playlist. Cool postcard again, matte finish. Um, I think this one's called Future Wars, and I think it includes time travel. I haven't played it myself, but that's quite a cool background art with the city being reflected in the skyscraper that this window cleaner is using. I've never played this, never even powered it up. Don't know anything about it, but it does look very interesting. Of course, Roger Wilco from Sierra's Space Quest series. I'm not sure which Space Quest that is. I'm sure there are viewers there that will be able to tell me straight away what it is, but I am more a LucasArts man than a Sierra man. I've played the Leisure Suit Larry games, but Space Quest is one that I'm yet to get around to. So there are the postcards, they're really nice, and a nice simple back as well. Oh, and they actually tell you what games each of those pictures are from as well. Maniac Mansion Day is ethical. So, this is one of the coolest things that has come with the box. It's actually a floppy disk USB stick. So I'm gonna get that straight open and see how that works. Now, that is quite a cool little collector's item. It's a one gig stick by the looks of it. And yeah, you know it says the art of point and click adventure games on it again. Very simple, rubbery kind of design, plastic rubber. And a uh, great, little, great little collector's item. I wonder is there anything on this floppy disk and I will check that out and put it into the video later on. Lastly here, before we get into the box, we have a little product guide, I think. Adventure gamers are... We've got a kind of product guide for new adventure games. Games that they've picked out, due out 2018, due out 2019. I'll have to check out some of them. I did see Lamplight City the other day, it was just released. So that is one that does look very, very interesting. So yeah, look, that's just a little product guide. I'm gonna get into the main meat of this particular item and open the big box book itself so we can see it finally. So while we're here at the back, we'll take a quick look at the back. So we've obviously got three-headed monkeys, very famous from Monkey Island. We've got Leisure Suit Larry outside lefties here. This looks like a redrawn pixel art that's not from the original game, which is quite cool. The Art Point Click Adventure Games, a visual celebration of one of the most beloved genres in gaming history. Interviewees for the book, so here we go. So there's interviewees in the book. We include Tim Schafer, awesome. Robin Miller, haven't heard. Ron Gilbert, David Fox, Eric Wilmunder, Hal Barrow, again, LucasArts, Gary Winnick, Noah Falstein, Mark Ferrari, one of the best pixel artists in the world, Dave Gibbons, Jane Jensen, Simon Woodruff, Al Lowe, of course, Brian Moriarty, Charles Cecil, Paul Cusset, plus many more, so there's actually more. The book showcases dozens of games, including King Quest, Myst, Tombstruck, Discworld, Blade Runner, Gabriel Knight, The Flight of the Amazon Queen is the name of the game that was on the postcard, and The Secret of Monkey Island, etc, etc, and some lesser known games and homebrew efforts. That's pretty awesome. So looking at the side here, we've got uh, the Holy Grail, I believe, from Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. We've got Simon the Sorcerer there. Uh, what do we have on this side? We've got Graham, I think is his name, from King's Quest. I haven't played the King's Quest series. We've got a crown down there. And of course, we've got this just lovely cover. So it's time to get it off, I think. And it literally lifts off like a big box PC game would. Awesome, straight away, oh my god. Look at this, this is amazing. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to put the book aside again. I'm gonna leave it over there so you can look at it in a minute. This is Dial and Interview, right? Let's see how this works. We've got Manny Calavera there on this side. On the inside, this is really, really well designed. You've got Guybrush from Monkey Island 2 there, picking up the bone of Largo Legrand's father as his 
his pants is falling down. Dial an interview. So it's made in the same way that the Monkey Island dial a pirate code wheel is, except it's your dialing in an interview. I suppose this is to find the page of the interview. This is just a fun little addition that they added into the box. Let's have a quick look at this now. And I think they're all the faces of the different developers then. So let's try find Ron Gilbert's face there. Where's Ron's? Because that's definitely Ron's eyes anyway. Who is who? There we go. There's Ron Gilbert. He's... <laughs> Ron Gilbert has definitely had two day later a shadow. Um, where's Tim Schafer? There's Tim. There's Tim up there. That's so funny. Oh my god. Hello. Uh, let's see how many of them I recognize. There's David Fox anyway, straight away. That's awesome. That's so awesome. And literally it just has their, yeah, all right, it has their names there. I wasn't even looking at the thing. Bitmap books, that's really, really, really awesome. Very, very simple, very effective. And obviously once you get the faces all together, it just tells you what page the interviews are on. Ron Gilbert's interview is on page 38. That's an awesome addition to the big box. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know it was coming with a code wheel, so that's a great surprise. And it's a really, really well made code wheel as well, is it? It's on a kind of, I don't know what kind of paper that is. I must find out. Finally, here we are, what everybody's been waiting to get to look at, the point and click adventure games book itself, right? So I'm gonna get this out of the box if I can without breaking the box. And there's nothing in the back of the box by the looks of it. This doesn't even come up. God, that smells good. I'm gonna get this plastic off first so I can just talk about it straight away. I don't wanna be waiting around. This is an extremely high quality item just to hold it and to feel it. It's, it's got such a nice weight to it and these are shiny lettering, they're actually, you know, they're actually properly printed onto this cover. It's just got a good weight to it. Everything in it is actually of a really high quality. I wasn't expecting it to be this high of a quality, but yeah man, it's got a real nice weight to it. It looks great and of course that that logo is just awesome. Look at it, the pointy click adventure game. Bitmap books. Definitely do check out their site. It's well worth uh, just looking through what other books they have. They, uh, they are quite cool and I'm not sponsored by them. I just really, really like this item. It's very cool. So that just says the same as what it says on the back. You've got a point click cursor here from the LucasArts games. Right, so I'm just gonna flick through it. I'm not gonna go through, of course, the whole book because there is quite a lot of pages, but I'm gonna just have a quick look through the first few pages here. First page there, published by Bitmap Books, designed by Sam Dyer, edited by Steve Jarrett, forward by Gary Witta, writing by Mike Bevan, Julian Hill, and Damien McFerrin, and interviews by people, game captures. Right, okay. And it's got by year, that's quite awesome. So you can find what years games came out. You've got an epilogue, history of point and click, stuff like this. An introduction. I'm not gonna read through the introduction, I'm gonna save that for myself. But again, it's got lovely glossy paper, a nice Oh, they did some custom artwork here, I suppose, from the forward by Gary Witta, which is quite cool. Former editor-in-chief of PC Gamer magazine. He's currently a screenwriter for film and television. That's pretty darn cool. The history of point and click from its humble, humble origins. So it's just a, a brief history of all the things. And of course, they just got all great art from like and they've got it from specific versions, I think, as well, of each of the games, because that looks like the 16 color version of Loom to me. You got the original Maniac Mansion here. This is going to be some read. <laughs> There's a glossary, so it just tells you all the different text parts or what all, they, what all the different things mean, and it's in the LucasArts text again. LucasArts really did do some of the best of the LucasArts games. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my god, look at all of that stuff. That's amazing. Like, this art is so. The art in point and click games is so nice to look at. There's a Harrison Ford look alike turning from Harrison Ford into a skeleton if you drink from the wrong cup at the end of the last Crusade adventure game. Yeah, Future Wars Adventures in Time by Delphine Software. Oh my god. Everything is just so nice to look at. That's an early version, or is that the that's the C64 version of Zack McCracken? I've never actually seen the C64 version of Zack McCracken, so that's very interesting to look at. So I mean, the sorcerer there. God, the art is just when you see it like this up close, and you can kind of count the individual pixels. You really can see how those artists just did amazing things with what they had. A Leisure Suit Larry 6, great game. I played it when I was way too young to be playing it. 
mist on pages or something. They're so nice. Oh, it's awesome. Oh my god. I could look at this now all day. Broken sword. Uh, there we are in Ireland. Broken sword. Climbing the castle wall in Loch Marne. <laughs> god, with the goat. The infamous goat. Charles Cecil, yeah. So it's got interviews then with all the different developers. Come on, I've just got to get to a Monkey Island page. I need to see some of that art. Oh, here is, here is the first point of click game I've ever played. Monkey Island 2. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. The particular art in Monkey Island 2 was actually hand drawn and scanned in, which is amazing. Yeah, hand painted backgrounds. That's awesome as well. They're just so nice to look at. I wish I could draw like that. And just the colours and everything. Oh god, I could actually look at this book all day. Here's Larry in a very precarious situation, as he always is. More of Larry, is it? Yeah. It's a remake of Leisure Suit Larry, the VGA remake, I think. I could look at this book all day. This is amazing. I can't wait to sink my teeth into that proper. Tim Schafer, Broken Sword 5. So yeah, it goes right up until the modern day with the pointy clicks as well. It goes to Vuju Island. They're really going uh, very specific. Like that game was pretty much sadly a failure, even though it's quite similar to the Monkey Island games. Oh, there's a, a game index of all the games they included at the very end. There's a little epilogue. I am absolutely astounded at the quality of that particular package. So I'm gonna get all the stuff together. I could easily go through that book all day, I could go through it for another hour easily and just go through every single page but we'll be here all day. I am absolutely blown away by the quality of the work that Bitmap Books have put into this book. I'm really really happy with it. That grog coaster is so cool. <laughs> now I just need a grog mug. Absolutely check out their site if you're interested. It's a great little book sadly. None of this extra stuff is available anymore but the book itself is available and it's of a really really high quality. Definitely worth checking out. If you enjoyed this video please do like, comment and subscribe. This is my unboxing of the Art of Point and Click Adventure Games. My name's Jack. It's been a pleasure showing you through this little box. There's the back cover our front cover and the back cover as well. There's just so much to it. It's such a great little intricate box. You've been watching Hit the Snake, What's in the Box? Goodbye. Hit the Snake. Videos for no one, no one watches now. Hit the Snake. Looking at lovely things we have.